Good morning, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Hey, guys, we're working on the Sony CB2200 skip fuel machine. Yesterday, we got the video and everything up and running with the breaker box that I finished building for video output and audio. Uh, we're getting some very, very good video signal out of this unit. Uh, as you can see, we did figure out the tracking issue or tension problem on this unit. Um, the unit... I thought usually nine times out of ten I'd, I'd be changing out the control head on this might be causing it not to track or control track properly or it'd be a automatic gain uh, circuit or capacitor in the automatic gain uh, area of, of the circuit board but normally first thing you look at which is always always a number one thing to do when you're working on these machines is each spindle has a certain tension okay if there isn't enough tension on this drum you're not going to get video lockup like that. Okay, you got to have enough tension on the drum to for the video head to penetrate the, the scan properly, upper and lower, so you can get good framing. Okay, this thing was suffering from um, somebody messed with the drag on this thing. Okay, it, there's an actual pin and spring that keeps enough tension drag on this thing to keep it around the drum. So you have enough tension for it to play back properly. Now, if the tension and drag is wrong on these tapes, you won't get a good lockup. And what happens is people will get these machines. They'll start messing with them. They'll start messing with the guides. They'll start, you know, they'll open them up and they'll weekend warriors. And they think, oh, this could be a real easy fix. And it's not. There's a lot of, a lot of tension settings on these. The tension has to be exact when you're doing these. Also, Came across a unique fix for these machines. Wanted to show you. This is heavy duty thick felt with a glue backer to it. You just peel the back off. And on these machines, you got these little felt pads. Okay, and, and it's sticking the metal parts that hit the spindles, you know, to keep felt up against it for dragging to get the right tension. This is a little solution I came across on eBay not too long ago. Bought several sheets of these when I saw them. Real hard thing to find. Felt that's got a glue backer to it. And uh, these, you always got to have stuff like this. Because when you fix machines like these, they have a lot of felt drag pads in different spots for dragging uh, to keep tension on the spindles. And you got to have, uh, you gotta have a, a good felt tension such as this with a good sticky backer pad to it. Anyways, we found those on eBay and definitely doing the job. And um, so anyways, the problem with the machine was a tension alignment. Not enough tension, not enough alignment around the drum, not enough torque. So the video head could penetrate the entire scan so it stays in frame. That's usually the situation with these machines since they don't have automatic control tracking they have automatic gain control tracking when you record but not when you play back there is no adjustment for tracking on these so you gotta have um you gotta kind of know these machines ins and outs i mean i've been working on these for a very long time so my suspect suspicion was the tension was wrong and it was so we ended up fixing the tension on this thing and we put brand new drag pads on it i, I replaced them i took the old ones off because they wore out after a while and you want to make sure you have enough tension on, on the tape when you're playing back a tape because it's very important because you're not going to get a very good playback these things never recorded all that great to start with depending on the signal but you want to make sure you get a good playback with these machines as you can see we got it working and the signal is beautiful on this thing so we know you know it's a little dark but you know that's the way it's set up I mean, I don't recommend ever, if you don't know what you're doing, messing with the trimmers on the front of these things because you will throw the machine out of whack. So if you don't really know what you're doing, do not mess with trimmers on these. It's not a good idea. As you know, we rebuilt and made a, a brand new video head for this guy because there is no video heads for these skip field machines. These are worse than the EIAJ machines. These, these heads are very unusual. They're upside down. There is no replacements for him. So I had to build this guy a video head because uh, both machines that I did get 
to make a unit, which that's the second one. Both machines had broken heads, which is always the case when you find these skip fuel machines. The video heads are all junk or broke, nine times out of ten. So um, I had to sit there and um, replace the video head on this thing. So I built them a video head. We went and uh, we fixed the power problems on this unit. Uh, now we got good video playback. This tape is a little grainy. It's, it's not the greatest video, but... As you can see, we have stability, we have we have video lockup, and it does play very well, very very well, considering you know how bad this tape is. These skip field recordings weren't all that great. Uh, it depends on the TV uh, channel that they might have been connected to, and whatever to get you know, depending on what kind of video what kind of video uh, recording you're gonna get. But if you got a good recording, they'll play real well on this machine. If you don't, you get kind of grainy video. It's just the nature of the beast of this machine. But as you can see, we did get the tension correct. Now we got video lockup and stability. Uh, if it isn't the tension, these are the things you need to look at. First thing you do when you work on a machine, like a skip fuel machine, is tension first. If tension isn't the issue, you check the control audio control head or replace it. I do have other ones to replace those with. Next situation would be the capacitors in the audio, gain, in the audio video gain area on the main board. Uh, might be bad and, and it's not letting you get good control okay control track is a big issue if the if the control head is bad change it out if you have to change out some caps in the front you change out some caps but nine times out of ten a quick fix is going to be the tension on the on the uh on the supply reel on this side everybody messes with these things every freaking time and um because they go bad after a while because it's just a spring activated type of thing and then you're going to have, um, as you can see, you got a pad. These are like brake pads uh, that are on the metal pieces. And I cut my own and I make my own and I replace them with new brake pad material, which you should always do. So, like I said, guys, this machine has come along great. We got, we got, now we got playback, which is excellent. So, we're going to be getting this deck done real quick now. So, I hope you enjoyed this video.